What's going on guys? We have a long overdue recipe for you. Today we're making what's known as an egg loaf. It's originated by someone on Instagram. Her name's Keto Sam I Am. So I'll link her down below if you wanna follow her for more cool recipes. Maybe she has a bunch of cool recipes. Maybe she's just a one hit wonder though, who knows? This is one of the easiest recipes you're gonna make. It requires basically three ingredients, eggs, butter, cream cheese, you bake it, and it comes out kind of like French toast. So to get started, we're preheating the oven to 350 degrees. We have just like a little brownie pan, any kind of pan you like to use will be fine for this. Here we have butter, one stick, can you see this? And one block of cream cheese that I've kind of melted, but it's supposed to be at room temperature. And we're gonna blend this in a blender. That's the easiest way to mix it all together. We're gonna start by adding eight eggs to our blender here. And this does bring up an ethical dilemma. So like when someone else creates a cool recipe, are we allowed to make a video about it? What do you guys think? Vote below. Most people that have food blogs, they just lie, cheat, and steal, right? Like they've made this recipe six months ago. And there's no real stop in that. So if you can't beat them, join them, I guess. But give credit where it's due. But yeah, I think you got to at least give credit. That's the bare minimum. And if you guys want to do this in any ratio, like if you want to make a smaller egg loaf, it's one egg for one tablespoon of butter for one ounce of cream cheese. What we're going to do to flavor this up a little bit is add some cinnamon. And I am a big proponent for nutmeg in French toast. I think you can't really have real French toast without nutmeg. That's me though. Some people don't like it. So we'll do like about a half teaspoon of cinnamon and maybe like a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm big on nutmeg. We're not gonna do any sweetener, but you can do stevia if you want to, to make it a little sweeter. Another thing is you can add syrup to it when it comes out. It's an alternative to adding sweetener to the actual batter. We're gonna add our butter and cream cheese in, and then all you gotta do is blend it. Perfect. Yeah, that blended together pretty well. And I'm just gonna grease our baking pan a little bit. I got some coconut oil spray here. Pour your batter into the baking pan. And then here's the last touch. This is just for style, for presentation. If you sprinkle some cinnamon on top, this is gonna like puff up when it bakes and it'll crinkle up all the top. So it'll look cooler when it comes out. The cinnamon will just be kind of like broken up and stuff. It just looks cool. So we'll sprinkle a little cinnamon on top. And there it is. We're gonna place this in a 350 degree oven. This is pretty thin, so it's gonna take maybe about 30 minutes. But depending on how thick your egg loaf is, it could take from 30 to 50 minutes. So we'll be back when this is done to taste it. All right, guys, I think it's done. Look at that. See how the cinnamon gives it just a cool look if you top it with it? So it's a little jiggly. But one thing to know about keto baked goods is sometimes they feel undercooked, but they just have to cool and then they're completely cooked. I am going to do a toothpick test though. Basically, just go right down in the middle with a toothpick. Does it come out clean? Kind of. That's good. We are going to have to let it cool for at least like five to ten minutes before we cut into it. So we'll be back ten minutes to try it. Egg loaf is cooled and you can see it sinks a little bit. A lot of bit. A lot of bit. That just means it's more dense. And the cool thing about this is the macros are on fleek. I hope you guys know when I say stuff like that, it's ironic, right? I'm not saying it in a serious way. Okay, so here we go. There is a slice, look at that, custardy. Oh yeah, it smells great too. We talking syrups? Walden Farms, a lot of chemicals. The thing is, we get sent quite a bit of like maple syrups that are made for keto that use better sweeteners. They all suck, they're all terrible. We've tried them all. This one actually tastes the best. It's zero calories. It's pretty thick. It does have a lot of chemicals. That's obviously the downside. I pretty much never use it. Mega does use it though in moderation. I'm awesome. I don't use this stuff. Losers. If you add sweetener to it, you might not even need syrup. That's probably what I would do if I was making this for myself. So you can see like very custardy, kind of like French toast. Mmm, nutmeg. Nutmeg comes through, front and center. Very good. As far as the ratio of difficulty to final product, this is about as good as it gets. Anyone can make this. You basically just put stuff in a blender, pour it in a baking sheet, bake it. It tastes great. I think the whole family would love this for sure. The alternative is to bake keto bread and then make that into French toast. It's just a lot of work. This is way better than any French toast made with keto bread. Definitely give this recipe a try, guys. 
Link on how to make this is down below. If you're looking for more recipes, ketoconnect.net. It's the best food blog there is for keto recipes, if I do say so myself. I don't know though, comment below. What other food blogs do you guys like? We got some muffin recipes you might like. We got some cool breakfast cookie recipes. We got a macro pancake recipe, like keto, we call it macro cakes, keto pancakes that are perfect macros for a keto diet. Check out the website, ketoconnect.net. And thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.